Hello everyone. Now, as you know, Michael Jordan fans are the worst sports fans of all time. And one of the many reasons why is because these people think that pretty much all the positive things that they like that are outside of the NBA were better in the 1980s and the 1990s. And pretty much all the positive things that they like that are outside of the NBA were the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. I want you to think about all this. So not only do they think that the NBA was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and that the NBA was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s, they also think that pretty much all the positive things that they like that are outside of the NBA were better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and pretty much all the positive things that they like that are outside of the NBA were the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. And it gets even more strange. There are Michael Jordan fans who weren't alive in the 1980s and the 1990s, and they pretty much think all these type of things. And there are Michael Jordan fans who were alive in the 1980s and the 1990s, but they weren't old enough to understand certain things, and yet even they think these type of things. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, hey, lots of people think these type of things from their generation. That's true, but I want you to think about some things. Do you think there's any generation out there that thinks these many things like Michael Jordan fans? And do you think there's any other group of people out there that takes it to the level of Michael Jordan fans? I mean, they're like this with pretty much all the positive things that they like. Think about it. Think of pretty much any category that's a positive thing that people like. And think of how people from the 1980s and 1990s act. Everything was better. Everything was the best. Here, I'll give you some examples. I'm not gonna go over all the examples, but I'll give you some of them. Here they are in no particular order. Let's start with the NBA. The NBA was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and the NBA was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. Baseball was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and baseball was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. WWE wrestling was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and WWE wrestling was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. Hip hop and rap was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and hip hop and rap was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. Music was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and music was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. Video games in the 1980s and 1990s were better, and video games in the 1980s and 1990s were the best. Movies were better in the 1980s and the 1990s. Movies were the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. TV programs were better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and TV programs were the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. The way people dressed was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and the way people dressed was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. Cars were better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and cars were the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. Cartoons were better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and cartoons were the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. The economy was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and the economy was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. Radio was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and radio was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. Howard Stern was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and Howard Stern was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. ESPN was better in the 1980s and the 1990s, and ESPN was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. It was better when there was no social media. It was better when there was no internet. The way people acted were better. Guys were better. Girls were better. Restaurants were better. Food was better. Candy was better. Water was better. They'll always point out to you how popular Michael Jordan was in the 1980s and the 1990s and how popular Michael Jackson was in the 1980s and the 1990s, and how popular Hulk Hogan was in the 1980s and the 1990s. And there are more examples, but you get the point. Michael Jordan fans will tell you how they missed the NBA on NBC. For you wrestling fans out there, you ever listen to Jim Cornette's program? He thinks everything about wrestling pretty much sucks today. And he thinks everything about wrestling was pretty much better in the 1980s and the 1990s. And he thinks pretty much everything about wrestling was the best in the 1980s and the 1990s. On YouTube, whenever you go to a YouTube video, they'll write things like, man, the things they did in those days in the media, they could never do those things today. When it comes to things like TV programs, movies, the media and all that, they'll write things like, man, the things they did in those days, they could never get away with today.
They'll do some of these things for NBA jerseys, for NBA rivalries, for NBA floors, for NBA broadcasters, for NBA announcers, for NBA owners, for NBA general managers, for NBA coaches, for NBA players. And I'm sure there are more examples, but you get the point. Now, some of you are not going to believe everything. You don't have to believe me. Go learn how people are from the 1980s and the 1990s. Go ask them. Go read what they write on YouTube. And there are more examples, but you get the point. I didn't make up any of these examples. These examples have happened at least once with at least one person. And most of these examples have happened more than once with more than one person. And you know what else is strange? Most of these Michael Jordan fans have experienced these type of things with older NBA fans. And most of these Michael Jordan fans didn't agree with these older NBA fans. And yet most of these Michael Jordan fans are doing these type of things. That is a contradiction. History repeats itself sometimes, especially with Michael Jordan fans. Hey, please subscribe. And if you disagree with me on something, you can go on my program and show me your facts on whatever you disagree on. If you want to go on, let's set it up. Send me an email. The email is right there in the description section. Thank you.